Hi everybody, this is Stephanie from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns LLC. Today we have seven questions to help you figure out should you be using scissors to shear your Angora rabbit. I'll list those seven questions and after I list them, we'll go in depth with each question with some of the things to consider. So before we do that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because we are always coming out with Angora videos, including videos on shearing, videos on breeding, videos on grooming, all sorts of Angora things, spinning the yarn, carding, subscribe. So the first question, do you have a budget? What's your budget? We think about money. Number two, do you have a nervous, skittish, or fearful rabbit? Question number three, are you nervous, skittish, or fearful? And what is your preference? Do you prefer scissors or do you prefer the clippers? Question number four, are you extremely limited on time? Question number five, how many rabbits do you need to shear and how frequently are you gonna be shearing? Number six, portability. Will you need to have flexibility to shear in different settings or different locations? And then the seventh question is, do you prefer uh, what is green or what is sustainable or environmentally friendly? So let's dive right in and let's start with question number one, explaining. So the first question is, what's your budget? So scissors are gonna be the lesser expensive of the two and you also have to consider the sharpening, you have to consider the cost of batteries or the cost of electricity if you buy clippers. You have to consider the amount of time as well. So scissors can be a slower process for shearing your rabbit and that is slightly, possibly, sometimes. So it depends on your rabbit, it depends on your expertise, it depends on the type of shears that you use, clippers that you use, it depends on the type of scissors that you use. So, what's your budget? If you have a more unlimited budget, then you have all options available to you and you need to go to the next question. Do you have a nervous, skittish, or a fearful rabbit? And the tip I have is to start with scissors. So if your rabbit is jumpy, if this, if this is your rabbit's first time shearing, or if this is a rabbit that has a history of difficulty with shearing, you want to switch to scissors because the clippers are really a sensation that can be agitating for a rabbit. They can really make a rabbit more nervous. They can make a rabbit more fearful. They can make a, a, a rabbit more on edge. And that increases the likelihood that your rabbit is going to move faster. However, when you think about it, the amount of time that you repeatedly shear your rabbit if you do use clippers, the rabbit does eventually get used to it and the rabbit eventually does settle down and realize, okay, after years upon years of shearing, this is just what happens, I'm going to be fine. But not every rabbit realizes that. So question, question number three. Are, you got to think about your short-term versus your long-term perspective. What are your goals short-term? What are your goals long-term when you think about owning these rabbits? What I mean by that are, first of all, are you nervous? Are you skittish? Are you fearful when you think about clipping the wool off your rabbit? And which do you want to be doing long-term? What is your overall preference right now? Based on what you know, what do you prefer? Perhaps overall you might say, I have the goal of using clippers. I want to learn how to use clippers. That's your goal then. And that's, you may think long term, for example, this is what you want to be doing long term. You, you would like to be able to utilize that and you would prefer to be able to take clippers and to learn the method of clippers and to dig right into uh, the entire process of learning how to use them. So it might be it might be easier short term to clip your rabbits with scissors, but if your long term goal is to use clippers to shear your rabbit, then my advice would be use the clippers. If that's your goal, if that's where you're working towards, then right away jump right into the clippers as fast as you can if that's the road you're headed down. So number four, are you extremely limited on time? because each tool is gonna to take time and repetition to learn and to get comfortable with. So if you use clippers, even though in the long run, it may 
uh, save you time when you're actually doing the physical clipping. It may not save you time when you have rabbits that are used to scissors. Or if you're using scissors, it may take a while for you to learn how to actually use the scissors so that you're not cutting yourself, so that you're not cutting the rabbit, and that you can get the wool off at a fast rate of speed and you can feel confident and you can feel comfortable with them. Number five. So the fifth question to ask is, how many rabbits do you need to shear and how often are you going to be shearing? So if you have a breed of rabbit, for example, like the German Angora, and you plan on shearing every 90 days, you're collecting your wool weights, you're keeping records, then you take the number of rabbits that you own, you take that over a three month period, you multiply it together. Here's an example. If you have two rabbits and you shear those rabbits once every three months, that means for each rabbit, each rabbit is going to be shorn four times a year. And that's just about average. That also depends on your housing and that depends on your climate. You may shear your rabbit right away frequently if it gets too hot and there's too much wool and you may uh, then have to go ahead and, and shear it again on an extra time. Or you may wait if it's really cold, you may give it an extra month. So those are relative. However, if you look at it and you think about it and you shear your rabbit like a German four times a year, you have two German Angora rabbits, then you are shearing eight times that year. That's very doable with scissors. However, if you have 100 rabbits, 100 German Angora rabbits, you have to shear these rabbits based on your shearing schedule. If you, if you want to stick the 90 days, you're shearing at least four times a year for those 100 rabbits. That means you're shearing your rabbits 400 times in that year, at least. So you're going to get 400 shearings in. Are you comfortable using your scissors 400 times over the year? That's more than once a day, more than shearing one rabbit a day over the course of a year. Is that something you're comfortable with or would you rather prefer to use clippers? Number, the question number six. So portability is a really important thing to consider and often when you look at clippers and when you look at scissors, the only difference is the electric clippers. You're gonna need an electric supply. You're gonna need something that powers those electric clippers. The portability of scissors, obvious. The portability of battery operated clippers, that's obvious as well, as long as, depending on what you're doing, you have extra batteries, or if you have the rechargeable, that you have access to electricity to charge them. So, why would that matter? Why would you, why might you be shearing a rabbit someplace other than your own home? You might be uh, in the International Association of German Angora Rabbit Breeders. You may be going to a uh, certification or a registration. And if you're physically leaving your house to do that, then, which is what, what does happen, often they're not all members have registrations at their house it requires you to be able to make sure that the tools you have can be transported with you. So then number seven, this is something that to some people it is a priority, to some people it's a value, something that they really consider, and to others it's not a value. So do you prefer to be green or to be environmentally friendly? Do you actually have a preference for what is the most sustainable, what is the greenest, what has the least carbon footprint out of these two options. Obviously, scissors is the way to go when you look at that. So there's a lot of things that are very personal when you think about shearing your rabbit. It really depends on you yourself, your short-term goals, your long-term goals. It really depends on your rabbit and it depends on the environment as well. So what is your access? What are your values? And what do you need in the future going forward? What is going to make the most sense? for you. So everybody, hit the subscribe button, click the bell, that way you get notifications when we have our new videos, you keep up to date, and you know exactly what's going on in the Angora world. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.